Time to do some storm cleanup. We showed you not that long ago a big ice storm that came through our area and most of our property was spared. Now a lot of the surrounding area really got hit hard. One of the worst parts of our property that got hit was this kind of little pine tree forest, you know, and we lost a lot of limbs there. Uh, that ice just because of all the, the surface area just really weighed down these limbs and broke off a lot of them. Today we're going to clean up what we can, see how this goes and um, before we tackle the rest of it and see if there's maybe a more efficient way. But today we're using the Summit TX25 compact tractor, the Summit GX54 grapple on the front end. On the back side, we've got our trailer mover on. That's our own creation, the Versa Bracket, hooked up to our Ultratech, one of the tandem axle trailers. Going to take the front and the back um, gates off of that so we can fit longer material down in there. And today it's kind of smaller is better. Um, gonna be kind of ducking in and out of the trees right around the edges and need something small that can get kind of underneath it without feeling like I'm getting limbs whacked in my face all the time. You're gonna see our roll bar is down today. Because of that, again, trying to limit the height. Um, I didn't look ahead in this manual here, but in, in general, an attractor manual will tell you, if you're gonna have the roll bar up, which you normally should, then wear your seat belt as well. If you're gonna have the roll bar down, then don't wear your seat belt. Uh, the reason being, if your roll bar is up and you turn over, you want the seat belt to help keep you in the operator station so you don't get crushed by the roll bar. If you don't have the roll bar up because you're working in a certain area, maybe like this, you don't want your seat belt on. That way you can try to quickly jump off and escape if the tractor does roll over uh, versus being trapped by the seat belt in the operator station and getting crushed. You will see you got to watch how long or how much length sticks out the front end where the tongue is at because you get too long and you run into the back of your tractor. You know, you're trying, it's, it's a balancing act, right? You're trying to get everything in there as, as best you can without too much heavy material on the back end that wants to fall out when you're trailering it versus too far in the front end that interferes. So it's, you know, it's not a perfect science, but you roll with it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of these down limbs here. And I could leave them where they lie, right? But I kind of like this area, it's a little, hidden forest and it's nice and quiet and it's relatively clean in the understory and it's not great for for hiding deer but it's just kind of a cool area a little i don't know neat spot on the property so i like to keep it kind of kind of clean and organized and i want to get all these limbs out of there and i could end up burning these i may end up chipping them all and, and we're trying to put some some chips on the the pass through the woods as well so we could go that route but Right now, I just want to get them kind of cleared out of here, stacked up and organized, and I'll figure out what to do with them after that. But honestly, I'm just looking for an excuse to get out of my tractor. It's been a while. This is a beautiful late winter day. You can see the sun is shining. 
I don't know, it's high 30s, low 40s, a little breeze, but man, it feels good to be outside doing something. It's been a long, a long time. It hasn't been a bad winter, but it's just been, you know, just that long, cruddy weather when you feel like you can't really do a whole lot outdoors. So last month we did a unique giveaway. We're actually running another one this month as well. Probably gonna keep it going. It's a lot of fun. You guys seem to be giving me a lot of uh, positive feedback about it, but you have to find a hidden image on our website. And then you email us with the listing that has the hidden image in it. And once a month, we're gonna announce a winner. And so the first time we did this was in February, 2023 for a mini stump record. And there was a lot of traffic on the website. You know, we have analytics so we can see, you know, page views and page counts and pages per user and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we can see that a lot of folks are out there looking for it. We had a lot of incorrect submissions too. We had a lot of folks tell us they just gave up, they couldn't find it, but we did actually have 212 folks that actually found it. So we took 212, did a random number generator, and number 39, that entry, the 39th entry, is the one that was selected. Mike Badger is the winner. So I'm gonna be reaching out to you, Mike. Congratulations on winning that mini stump wrecker. This month is a loop shuttle giveaway for five lucky winners. So look for the image on our side. If you're not signed up for our newsletter, sign up there, follow along on YouTube and Facebook. We posted on there as well what the, the current promotion is that's going on. We just try to have fun, do some unique things and give you guys some good opportunities.
anyway, so we have this last load here to go dump out. And uh, the first one was a little tricky. I loaded this one different um, with more of the, the heavy weight on the back end. The first one I did more of the heavy weight on the front end. And a lot of the, the material was uh, the branches and the, the, the trunks were grabbing either the sawtooth edge that's meant to hold things in place um, or branches were kind of snagged on the side. But yeah, you know, I don't know, we'll see. I'm hoping that this stuff doesn't all fall out while we're driving along since most of the heavy stuff's on the back end this time around, but maybe it makes it easier to offload once they get up there. I don't know, it's, you know, these are minor details, I guess. It's, it's not that heavy to lift these things in and out. The grapple did, did most of the work already anyways. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sure you got lots of your own projects to tackle. If we can help you out with the tractor attachment, we'd love the opportunity. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We often have sales. Our prices include free shipping, rewards, and financing too. If you enjoyed today's video, we want to have you tag along. Hit subscribe right down below. Completely free. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.